Now it's time for our legal discussion with Mr. Ali Azar and Alfredo Asin, attorneys at law from the law office of Lewis and Associates in Falls Church, Virginia. Let's hear what they have to say today. Namaste viewers, this is Ali Azar. Namaste viewers, this is Alfredo Hussain. And you're watching us on Saga Mata Television from the law offices of Lewis and Associates in Fall Church, Virginia. Alfredo, I have an interesting topic for you for this particular segment. Um, we have seen, unfortunately, in many parts of the world, Southeast Asia and a lot of other countries that, from where immigrants originate, um, that the minute you get your permanent residence or, or in some cases even a simple non-immigrant visa, the individual, whether it's a, a male or a female, miraculously um, have offspring and relatives and spouses materialize out of thin air. We know that a lot of times people, uh, if, if a male individual has applied for uh, a lottery visa, then they will also bring on a spouse which does not exist before. In most cases, these are sham relationships, sham marriages, which are done purely uh, for the purpose of immigration, uh, for evading U.S. immigration laws, but because uh, there's limited review in these processes a lot of time at the consular level, these people do end up coming in the U.S. and then they end up filing divorces literally the minute they get off, step off the plane. So what would you advise, what are the consequences, and what would you say to someone that may be thinking of going down this route? Well, Ali, that's, that unfortunately, it sounds like you're describing an immigration fraud type of scenario. In America, the law is pretty clear. And when they're evaluating your marriage, they look at your intention, your heart. Did, right. did you two marry for love or did you marry to gain an immigration benefit in the U.S.? Right. It, it doesn't matter if later on you guys fall in love. The, what matters is when you said I do, were you guys doing it for immigration or for love? So in this scenario, it looks like you're telling me that they were doing it for immigration, Correct. in which case... Unfortunately, the answer would be that you're potentially barring not just yourself, also your spouse, and also exposing yourselves to potential further prosecution on the criminal end. What, what type of criminal penalties can arise? Well, all sorts. It depends how, how, how much they want to throw the book at you, so to speak. But right? is there, you're looking at jail time or... Are you looking at fines or are we looking at both potentially? You're potentially looking at both. You're potentially, and in addition to that, at the end of it, you're also looking at getting deported. And but maybe not having the ability to ever come back as well. Correct, because once you've committed fraud, that's usually a permanent bar in the United States. Again, we advise most of our clients and, and generally to people, you know, whatever you do today may have consequences days, months, years, decades down the line. If this is where you intend to live, if this is going to be your home, you want to make sure that there's nothing in your past that will take away your right from being in your home. You can have the authorities, these records are verifiable, these records remain there for life. As things are progressing after 9-11, these records are becoming more and more accurate and more easily accessible. You don't want to say something today in an application which can be refuted or or questioned uh, five years down the line or ten years down the line because you would be so much more vested into this country in that time and frankly speaking uh, this is a great country which gives all immigrants uh, I know it did that for me you know it, it gives us the chance to come in and truly make a life and I think we should reciprocate in the same way where we stand by the rules and and, and basically not make uh, fools of ourselves correct that's correct I think this is just about as much time as we have today Alfredo so uh, viewers, this is Ali Azar. This is Alfredo Hussain. Saying goodbye and God bless for now. Thank you. Well, viewers, that's all for today. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Sagarmatha Television. Don't forget to watch Nepal Darshan Television every Sunday at 12.30 p.m. right here on MHZ Networks. Now we'd like to conclude today's episode with this beautiful Nepali song. See you next week. Until then, I'm Shreya Skadahal saying goodbye and namaste. Yeah, 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 yeah.